Oh. Hey, I'm Bill. Nice to meet you. Okay, so hari ni aku nak buat um, satu dessert yang special. Ni aku buat dessert yang aku inspired daripada um, kita punya coklat kegemaran um, Ferrero Rocher. Ooh la la. Yelah coklat tu memang mahal. So aku nak buat coklat ni daripada mahal jadi lima kali lagi mahal. Ho ho ho. Alright, so aku pun malah nak memuasa kat asyik Bebek, bebek, bebek kan <laughs> Okay, so yup Let's get to it Okay, so for our hazelnut butter scotch mousse, I'm going to pour about 250ml of heavy cream and 1 teaspoon of vanilla extract, 1 tablespoon of sweetened milk and I nak whisk dia sampai dia um, dissolve and I want to let it simmer. Kita nak boil just simmer sampai dia panas and once dah panas, kita remove from the pan. Masukkan in a respective container and then I'm going to put about 1 cup of white chocolate. Ini nak bagi sedikit kemanisan as a substitute of sugar. And 250 grams of toasted hazelnut, 190 degrees Celsius yang kita dah toast tadi and 4 grams of softened gelatin sheet yang kita dah softened and infuse and blend sampai the puree and until it becomes soft and then kita nak um, infuse about 30 minutes in room temperature meanwhile kita nak buat kita punya brown butter so get yourself about 100 grams of butter and kita just cairkan dia ok cook in a pan on about medium heat cairkan dia sampai dia jadi kekuningan and sampai dia jadi keperangan look at that you can see that wow and it smells so good not gonna lie ok lepas kita dah siap kita nak um, masukkan kita punya butter so um, tapiskan dulu untuk buang keledak-keledak dia and once dia punya butter dah bergabung kita nak infuse dia supaya everything comes in together and one once kita infuse kita punya hazelnut cream we are going to do once again kita nak tapis dia gunakan mesh sieve untuk um, buang kita punya keledak hazelnut yang lebih-lebih tadi tu look at that sampai keledak-keledak dia dah habis kita dah asingkan kita nak set in the fridge for 4 hours or until overnight wow ok lepas tu kita dah set selama 6 jam in the fridge so kita keluarkan and then kita nak whisk in sampai dia achieve stiff peaks tak nak lebih nanti dia split ok right now I'm going to take my 6cm diameter silicon hemisphere mold and kita nak pipe kita punya mousse ke dalam that silicon mold. Well, you know the drill. Okay, once kita dah pipe, ratakan dia gunakan spatula and then we let it freeze in the freezer for 3 hours or until use. Now, I'm going to make my coconut caramel. So, I'm going to caramelize about 1 over 3 cup of sugar sampai dia nampak keperangan. Kita tak nak terbakar until dia keperangan. Remember that. And masukkan about 20 grams of butter and glaze to form that beautiful caramelized caramel. Wow, look at that. And then kita boleh masukkan kita punya um, santan, about 200 milliliters of santan. Okay, bila korang masukkan, dia akan, gula tu memang akan mengeras sebab there's a difference in temperature. Tapi lama-lama dia akan cair bila korang whisk in and then kita nak let it simmer sampai dia dah mula menebal and menjadi perang. Okay, once kita dah simmer kita punya caramel, masukkan ke dalam bekas and sejukkan dia sampai dia sejuk or until use. The more the better. Okay, I'm going to make my almond short pastry. So, masukkan about 200 grams of all-purpose flour and then masukkan about 80 grams of butter and then kita nak blend dia macam kita buat honey custard recipe punya pastry dulu kita blend sampai dia crumbleize macam tu and once dia dah jadi crumble kita boleh keluarkan and put on a separate bowl and then I nak masukkan half cup of almond ground almond and then one over three cup of sugar and one egg yolk okay kita nak Campurkan dulu pakai spatula and then kita um, bentukkan dough pakai tangan. I think it's actually a little bit dry so I put in some water. Ini nak bagi dia bergabung lah. Kalau rasa agak kering, tetap. Tak kering, tak payah. Kita nak bentukkan satu dough yang stabil. Tu je. Okay, once kita punya dough dah agak-agak stabil, kita just take our cling wrap and put all the dough into the cling wrap and wrap dia cantik-cantik. And we are going to let set in the fridge for about 30 minutes. Okay, so meanwhile, kita nak buat hazelnut chocolate shell. So, melt about 150 grams of dark chocolate. Sampai dia cair in a bain mary or a water bath. And sampai dia dah cair, kita boleh keluarkan that beautiful glossy chocolate. Woo, look at that. So tempting. And kita nak blend about 100 grams of hazelnut sampai dia jadi hancur and form that beautiful crumbles. And then kita dah hancur, kita nak masukkan kita punya hazelnut and we just kacau-kacau dia sampai dia bergabung and we let it infuse for about 5 minutes to allow the hazelnut flavor to bind with the chocolate. 
Oh, I'm not gonna lie, that looks tempting. Okay, my frozen mousse are ready. So I'm going to bring it out from the fridge and it is ready for coating. Okay, nak coat dia, it's very easy actually. Ambil korang punya lidi or bamboo skewer, keluarkan the mousse and then korang just tebuk the mousse pakai um, bamboo skewer and then kita just coat dia cantik-cantik nice and beautiful on that beautiful hazelnut shell and once dah coat what you're going to do is that you're going to get yourself a container and then korang just letak that thing be very careful do not spill and well okay sekarang ni kita dah coat we let it set in the fridge sampai kita nak gunakan ingat in the fridge not the freezer okay I punya pastry dah set so I'm going to um, put some flour ini kita nak stabilkan this moon sebab dia agak rapuh Okay, and then kita once dah bentuk dough yang stabil balik, kita roll sampai dia mencapai ketebalan about 0.5 cm thick. Okay, and then once kita dah roll cantik-cantik, we are going to take about 6 cm diameter of cookie cutter and I'm going to make pastry circles using my cookie cutter. Look at that. And then kita boleh letak atas baking tray with some parchment paper. It's that simple. Okay, and then I'm going to roll out again using the remaining pastry about 0.5 cm thick. Macam sekali lagi. And then I'm going to do a little bit of mathematics stuff. You know, nak mengira circumference untuk pastry piece kita. So, it will be about 19 cm. Oh, God bless mathematics. Okay, so sekarang ni kita nak buat pastry sheet about 19 cm in length. And then kita nak buat pastry piece. Okay, setiap 1 cm kita potongkan dia. Look at that. Just ikut dia macam ni. Ini kita nak buat kita punya pastry piece untuk in case kita punya pastry circle. Okay, kita nak bentuk macam pasu and then just hati-hati gabungkan kedua-dua ni sekali and you have a mini pasu made out of almond pastry and bake in the oven, preheated oven for 180 degrees Celsius, 30 minutes. Okay, Avengers Assemble, keluarkan caramel, put it on top of the almond pastry, put some raspberries and don't forget the hazelnut. Remember Feroshia the hazelnut and get your beautiful mousse and put it on top. Look at that. To give a really nice golden touch of the wrapping, I'm going to put in some golden luster powder. Ini nak bagi dia cantik lah, okay? And once it's cantik macam tu, I'm going to serve it. Look at that, that's so beautiful, that looks so nice. I'm not gonna lie, it's so tempting. It's so nice, it's so beautiful. Look at that beauty. Five times more expensive, ten times more delicious. Just wow. Welcome back. Okay, so jadi aku dah siap. Kita punya dessert. Oh, cantik kan? This is so beautiful tu. Kau tengok ni. Wey, apa? Ada jual ke? Tak jual dia. Sorry lah, nak. Kita buat sendiri lah. <laughs> tak adalah ni pun. Bagi aku, this ni adalah difficulty dia maybe about 6 to 7 lah. Tak adalah susah tapi leceh. Okay. So, aku pun tak rasa lagi. So, I'm just going to give it a try. Oh, susah lah. Okay. Geram aku. <laughs> okay. Allah. <laughs> Okay. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Sedap bro Nice trip Bye eh. mm. Here we go Golden heritage for golden moments Okay so Our dessert video ended um, I guess right now uh, Apa-apa pun aku nak ucapkan uh, terima kasih Thank you so much kepada siapa-siapa yang tengok video aku And yeah, don't forget to like and share this video And yeah, kalau anda rasa ringan hati Boleh subscribe to my channel And I will, you know, inshallah We'll make more dessert Dessert and dessert for all of you Alright Bye-bye Tada Ciao-ciao